In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to calculate the geometric mean within Python. What we're gonna do is we're gonna first solve this manually, and then we're gonna take a look at some shortcuts with the help of the NumPy and SciPy libraries. Uh, we're gonna actually go through two examples as well, one with just whole numbers, and then our second example is gonna use percentages as well as a negative, which kind of complicates a little bit of the math behind it. But before we do jump into coding, I wanna go over a little bit of the background of the geometric mean, so let's do that. All right, as promised, let's take a look at the background of the geometric mean and a quick example before we do start coding. So the geometric mean is a type of average that's useful when dealing with skewed data or percentages. Um, it, it's interesting because it's a different calculation than your arithmetic mean. So normally when you take an arithmetic mean, that's what you think of like with elementary school where you add up all the numbers and you divide by the total amount of numbers. Uh, where geometric is different is you actually multiply all the numbers together and then you raise it to the one over n power with n being the numbers, uh, the total amount that you have. Um, so typically when you run the geometric mean, you wanna use positive numbers and if you do have like a negative percentage, it can complicate things. We'll go over an example with a negative percentage and dealing with percentages in general with geometric means on the Python side of things. Um, but on the next slide, we're gonna go over just a very basic example, geometric mean, and kind of explain this equation. So uh, just to explain this equation, right? You see x1, x2, x3, et cetera, right? You can have as many as you want in here, really. So let's say we had three numbers, right? We have number one, number two, number three. When we multiply those three numbers together, and then we get that result, then we raise it to the one over the third power. Um, this n is the length of that number list that you put in over here. So normally, like if you're finding the arithmetic average, right? If you have three numbers, you add those together. Let's say it's five, 10, and five, right? Five plus 10, 15 plus five is 20. Then you divide it by three. Uh, instead of dividing by three, we raise it to the one over three power. You'd take five times 10 uh, times five. So let's go over an example of explain a little bit easier. So let's say we have three numbers. We have eight, 11, and 10. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna find the length, which is this n. So we know this is a three length, right? So we know at the very end, we have to raise it to the one third power. Okay, next we have to multiply these numbers together. So eight times 11 times 10, we have 880. And that is this section right over here in the middle. Again, as many numbers as you want. All right, so now let's put this together. So we have 880, we raise that, to the one third power. And our final solution is 9.68. And again, to call out, if you're dealing with percentages, there's a slight variant because you need to convert your percentages into decimal. We'll cover that in a little bit, and especially when you deal with negatives. But let's take a look at uh, a few different ways how you can solve this in Python. All right, so let's start off with our imports. We only need two libraries for this video. So we're gonna import in NumPy as NP. And then next what we're gonna do is from SciPy, stats import g mean like that and our imports are done sometimes uh these videos we have to import quite a lot but uh not too bad so let's start off with example one which is going to be our manual calculation so manual first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a list and i'm just going to call this data and honestly just throw a bunch of numbers in here so um I'm not gonna even keep the same numbers that I did for my practice code. And uh, I think this should be good. I'm gonna make sure they're all positive for this example over here. Awesome. Now, what we're gonna do is grab the length. So that was our step one that I showed you on the slides. So all you have to do is len, then pass in that list over here as a parameter. And now we have that over here. And then what we're gonna have to do next is we're gonna have to set our product equal to one and uh, that makes things a lot easier. Okay, now what we're gonna have to do next is create a for loop. So what we're gonna say is for x in data, and this x could be anything. You could say number, y, i, doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna put a colon, and then we're gonna say product, which we defined above over here being one, right? We're gonna say that's times equal, and we're gonna put x. So essentially what this code does, and let me run this over here first, is we're gonna take this one times three. Now our product is three. Now we're gonna times equal to five. So three times five is 15, that's our product, times by three, then we're at 45, and then times by seven, what's that, 315, then times five again, we're at 1575. I'm not gonna multiply that in nine. Um, I didn't even expect to go that far, but regardless, we're gonna multiply that out to get 
our full sided things on this product. Okay. Then what we're gonna have to do next is set up our geometric mean. So geometric mean, trick mean manual, and we essentially set our equation, right? So we have our product, which is that center piece, and then we're gonna raise this to a power. So two stars like this, and then we're gonna raise it to the one divided by N, which is that length that we have over here. Awesome, so we have that now. And then finally, we should have our result. So let's print out our geometric mean. And if we just do that, check it out. Uh, we actually have uh, an error because I copied the entire line. I was like, why are we getting an error here? And we have 3.6 and a bunch of other junk at the very end. I'm gonna round it to 3.6 and that is our geometric mean on the manual side of things. So let's take a look at our second example, example two, which is gonna be NumPy. And again, just to reiterate, right? Find the length, find the product, and then product, raise it to the one over the length. That's all you have to do for the geometric mean. A few lines of code, but we're gonna simplify it with the NumPy side of things. So we still need that length. I'm not gonna run it that code again because we've already done it above. But we're gonna what we're gonna do is product NP. And just to show you how easy this is with NumPy, all you have to do is NP dot product, which is prod over here, and then just pass in our list. Now our list was data. So just like that, we have all this multiply. We don't have to set product equal to one and then this for loop over here. Uh, this is all done in literally just one line of code. So now all we have to do is say results numpy equals, and then what we're gonna do is something is slightly different because you can raise to a power numpy. So np dot power, and then what we're gonna do inside over here is have our product np, and then also just one divided by n. And you know, from the readability side of things, they're about the same, right? This is product raised to the one over n, np power. So whatever you wanna use to be honest with you, but since I wanted to do the product over here with numpy, I wanted to also show you how we can do power. And uh, if over here, we should get 3.6. You can either print it out, or just paste this on here if you're using Google Collab, which is what I'm using in this video. But regardless, you can see 3.6 and we got all that junk here at the very end. Awesome. Let's take a look at SciPy, which makes it even easier. So example three, which is SciPy. And all we have to do on the SciPy thing is say results SciPy, because this is literally one line of code equals gmean, and then pass your data in and check this out. 3.6, one line of code. So I showed you a lot tougher way, which this really isn't that tough, but tougher way, medium, this is like super easy. So um, if you're gonna calculate the geometric mean, I would recommend you use SciPy, unless you're in an interview and you have to follow through it manually. Um, regardless, it wasn't too bad. But what I wanna show you guys now, and we're gonna go to example four, we're gonna take a look at a SciPy with percentages percentages. So think of it like as a growth rate. So we're going to think of this as a growth rate. And what we're going to do is add a little bit of complexity. We're going to have a negative number in here as well. Negative number. And uh, let's uh, do a calculation. So we're going to have percentages in here. And let's define these. So my example code, I had 10, I had 15, 20, and then also I had negative five. So what we're gonna have to do, since we have a negative percentage and we're just dealing with percentages in general, is we have to convert these to decimal first. So decimal over here. And uh, what I'm gonna say is decimal values. And let's do it. So we're gonna equal over here and we're gonna essentially make this into our growth rate. So we're gonna say one plus, and we're gonna put P divided by 100, right? So we're gonna take each of these, divide it by 100, add one to it. And then we're gonna say for P in percentages. And again, as I mentioned earlier with our for loop, you can change out this P. So like if you want to say X, you can say X. If you can say percent, right? It doesn't really matter. I'm just using P for percentages, right? So we have decimal values over here. And this is a form of list comprehension. So we're creating a brand new list with this line of code and we're throwing a for loop in here. I have a full video on list comprehension. It really simplifies down stuff um, where you can turn this into one line. So I highly recommend that you learn list comprehension if it if this code looks pretty foreign too. All right, so what we're gonna do first is now create our geometric mean on the decimal level. So we're gonna say geometric mean decimal. 
And all we're gonna do is G mean over here and then pass in these decimal values, all right? And we're not done yet because we have to now convert back into percentages. And just to show you what this looks like on the decimal side of things, we have 1.09, but if you look over here, that would not be correct. We have 10, 15, 20, and five. So how do we go backwards? Well, honestly, we do the opposite of what we had over here. So what we're gonna say now is geometric mean, and we're gonna say percent. And we're gonna say that's equal to, and inside over here, we're gonna take this decimal, we're gonna subtract one, so minus one, and then we're gonna times 100. So times 100 like that. And one more line of code. And all we want to do is see what our final percent is. And we have 9.58%, which if you look over here, 10, 15, 20, and negative five, that makes a lot more sense. So just to explain one more time how these percentages work. First, we have our percentages over here. We turn this into our growth rate, one plus P divided by 100, right? So think about this, one plus 10 over 100, we have 1.1, 1.15, 1.2, and then 0.95, all of them are positive when we pass this in over here, right? And then we run our geometric mean on these decimal values. We have our decimal right here, 1.09. Then we have to convert it backwards. So you just subtract one and multiply it by 100, and then we get our final percentage. A little bit more work than uh, when we had some pretty easy numbers over here in this data, but I felt like I had to show you an example uh, with percentages because that's one of the good use cases for the geometric mean. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to upload two to three videos every single week with a data science focus. There could be some statistics videos, AI videos, machine learning, and much more. I have a few videos down below in the description that are kind of related to this, and I have a playlist right over here that I think you should check out.